Okay, so we're finally back with a brand new video here in our channel. What I got in here is a starting scene that you start as in Unity using the universal render pipelines. And what I got is the free model that I posted down in the video description in the first episode. And what we got in here is nothing, really. What I did is I made a script. And here is how you make a script. You can just go right click, create, create a new script. And here is the script that I, that I made. So the script that I made contains one float variable and then it contains a fixed update. What we have in here is a input value. So what the input value does is it only receives the input from the horizontal axis. Horizontal is the A and D keys. Next, what we have is a game object. So what the game object refers to is the game object that this script is attached to in this case it's attached to this camera and what it does is it takes in the local position not the global position and it passes it to itself so what we have in here is a vector 3 that contains the local position x y and z and then what we're doing is we are only multiplying it with a input so what we got now is that if we press the play mode, we have a very simple way of moving around. However, we don't want to move our camera around when we are racing our car. That's why we are going to have to define a point that the camera attaches to and it stays that way all game. So what we need is a reference to any of these cars so in this case we have this cone exec yesco and inside the yesco we must contain let's create a new empty game object and let's let's throw all the junk so what we need inside every single car is a way of knowing where the camera should attach to so for example in this case we need a a empty game object that is named to a specific name so we can name it whatever we want. We can name it like Hillary. And next, what we can do is in the start update, we can say public game object camera target. And then we can say the camera target is equal to game object dot find. Don't remember game object dot find object. And then in here, we pass in the string name. That's not very efficient, obviously, but that's one way of finding a game object and in here we can just pass in this Hillary Clinton so now we should be able to attach to Hillary Clinton anytime this script starts however we don't want to do that we want to attach to a car and then from the car we want to attach it to the Hillary Clinton so in this case what we're going to need is a way of knowing that we have a car in our scene one way of doing that is by using a tag. We're just going to use a player for now. And then we're going to need another script that refers to all these children. For now, we're not going to use that script. We're just going to refer to this game object since we only have one of these. Next, what we're going to do is rename the Hillary Clinton to camera target. And the camera target is going to always sit in the zero axis. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to define some new values in here. So we're going to define the first child. So after defining a camera target, what we can do is create another game object in here. And then we can just duplicate this game, game object. And now we can just move it like right here, for example. And then we can move this one higher up. Like this. And now we have some camera viewing angles as we can see in here okay let's try and attach our camera into the camera target one way of doing that is by simply using a look at constraint but we're not going to use that we're going to go and do that via scripting so first of all we're going to be needing to attach to this game object that has a tag of player. So what we're going to do is define a public game object player. 
now we have a player and since we have a player we can manipulate with the player game object so we're going to say player dot player is equal to game object dot find object with tag and in here we can we're going to pass in player after we attach to the player game object into the fixed update we want to tell this game object the first script game object to look at the player so we can say game object dot look at and in here we pass in our transform so the transform that we're going to be using is obviously the player so we can say player dot transform dot position and there we go we have successfully created a look at function so let's go ahead and try and test it see if it works what we should see is this camera looking over at the car so if we press play we're going to see that even if we move around we we are always always looking at the car so we got that working out perfectly fine and the one last thing that we want to do in this video is that we want to tell our camera to stick right behind our vehicle to do that we need a constraint so we need a camera target and then we need to tell our camera which way the car is so i always find out that using these children works out perfectly fine so what i'll do in this case is define a look at position like right here for example this is always going to be the first child and then we create some new children like this one for example and then we place these like this so now we place our camera into the second child and then we tell the camera to look at the first child so that usually works fine I'm not sure that it's going to work fine in this time, but we can always tweak it. So to move the camera right into this location right here, we're going to need to change a couple of things. So first of all, we need a array. And to use the array, we can just say public game object. And we can just make it a array. And we can name it camera positions. So into the camera positions, instead of player that we say in here, after we say player, we want to look for camera positions so usually camera positions are children of the car and what we can do is we can make a algorithm that looks through all the children in here or what we can do is make another script that we attach this camera target so let's go into the script create a new controller car controller so a very very simple thing that we're going to add into the car controller is a reference to this camera target so we are only going to add in one line we're going to say public game object camera or maybe camera target that is literally all we're going to add into the camera controller next we're going to refer to the car controller as a public variable so we're going to say car public car controller controller now we have our controller and the controller is obviously equal to the player so we're going to say controller is equal to player dot get component car controller after we get the controller we only want to reference this camera target so so instead of creating multiple arrays of that we can just use controller dot camera position or camera targets dot get child into the position of zero so now we get a transform of the first child or maybe the zero because the rays start at zero anyway that's how we can that's how you that's how we can do that we're going to delete that and down here where we set the local position instead of using this new vector what we can do delete that game object dot transform dot position is equal to controller dot camera dot transform dot get child into the index of zero 
dot transform okay so now we should be able to attach to this position right here so since we are so since we're attaching to that position we don't need a input we also don't need that line as well so we're going to delete that delete this and now if we go ahead and test that we should see that the camera attaches to the first child before we do that, we are going to see that we have no reference in here. And if we play our game, we're going to see we have no reference exception. So we're just going to pass this in here. And now if we try, we should see it's working perfectly fine. Okay. So now that we are attaching to this position, we should, al we should also look at the first child so similarly to what we did in here we're just going to copy this paste it in here and instead of the zero child we want to pass in the first child so if we've done everything correctly we should be facing that direction or maybe the opposite if we've done it wrong so let's see okay we're facing the wrong direction let's try and reverse that okay here it is we are facing the right direction. So if you're not sure with the position of your car, we can always move it like this, for example. It looks a little bit funky. And the reason for that is because the camera is not physical. So if we do it physical, everything looks a little bit better. Okay, that is all I have prepared in this episode. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it. We're going to continue making this car game. And hopefully the next episode we can, all, we can already drive this car. So thank you for watching and we'll be back with another video very shortly.